Yo, what's going on guys? Arax here. Welcome back to another video for Elden Ring. And in this one, I want to talk about six awesome Scarlet Rot weapons that you should definitely consider picking up. For those of you guys that of course have been on the receiving end of Scarlet Rot, you'll know that this thing hurts. It is quite inconvenient if you have Scarlet Rot applied. So what better way to remedy this than to give the enemies a taste of their own medicine by using weapons that can inflict Scarlet Rot. In doing so, giving them ticks of damage over time so you can basically just walk away and laugh as their health disappears. So, if you guys do enjoy this video, a like would be super appreciated. Comment down below, let me know what you guys think of this. Let me know if you guys have been running Scarlet Rot, if you like it. There are definitely a couple of bosses in this game that are very susceptible to this. And of course, don't forget to stick around if you guys have been enjoying the Elden Ring content. First things first, we have Scorpion Stinger. This is a Scarlet Rot Dagger. It actually looks really, really cool. This is a unique one, so of course it needs to be upgraded with the Somber Smithing Stones. It has the skill Repeating Thrust, where you twist to build up power. Then you unleash a flurry of thrusts, and of course those rapid strikes are pretty good for inflicting that Scarlet Rot. It has a strength requirement of 6, a dex requirement of 12, so this is actually pretty easy to use. If you want to get this one, then you will need to turn your attention to the underground city, so of course if you have not got to the point where you have done Rani's questline to unlock this, then of course you will need to go and do that. But what you want to do is turn your attention to the Lake of Rot, and you then want to go down to this site of grace here, the Grand Cloister. From there, you simply need to run forward, follow the route that I'm taking right now to basically sort of carefully drop down so you don't fall and break your legs. And then you run forwards and you run straight up the stairs. If you guys have been here before, if you've done Randy's quest line, you will know you typically go left to sort of take a uh, route down the waterfall. This time, instead, we're going to be running past all of the bugs and just running straight up the stairs. There's a chest inside. Open that. And that is the Scorpion Stinger. Next on the list, we have the Anspur Rapier, which of course is a thrusting sword, so you can pair this with a shield if you so wish. This one has a strength requirement of 10, a dex requirement of 20, and of course it comes with the skill Impaling Thrust. Keep in mind, this is one of the weapons where you can change the Ash of War if you so wish, so uh, this is quite flexible. It also looks pretty cool, but of course Impaling Thrust is a skill that lets piercing armaments overcome enemy shields. You build up the power, then you lunge forward for a powerful thrust that pierces the enemy's guard. But again, pretty customizable. If you want to get this one, it is actually pretty simple. You will need to have access to the Altus Plateau, so of course a little bit further in the game. And then from there, what you then want to do is make your way up to the Shaded Castle. So if you haven't been there, you can of course go to one of the lower sites of grace and simply run up this path. But if you do happen to be there, you can go to this site of grace, and then you simply want to run over to this location I've marked on the map. Doing so will see you be ambushed by a hostile enemy, and quite simply, you need to kill them, and you will get the Rapier. Following on from there, we then have the Rotten Crystal Sword. This one looks pretty cool. I like the look of the Crystal Swords regardless, but of course this is the Rotten version. Requirement for this one is 13 Strength, 10 Dex, and 15 Intellect. This one has the skill Spinning Slash, which is a skill favoured by the Dexterous Warriors. You slash your foes as your body spins, and additional inputs allow for follow-up attacks. For this one, you will of course need to have access to Halleck Tree, so if you haven't got this far, make sure you go and check out the video on the channel. But you then want to go and turn your attention to this Site of Grace here, and then quite simply, you need to run out of the door in front of you, take a left up the branch, and you'll then see three Crystallian enemies sitting there outside the chest. Now, they are of course probably going to kill you when you drop down there, but if you don't want to fight them, you can simply run past them and open the chest, and doing so will give you the Rotten Crystal Sword. However, as a sort of bonus honourable mention, if you do want to kill the Crystallian enemies, you can also get the Rotten Crystal Spear and the Rotten Crystal Staff, but keep in mind those ones are essentially farmed from those enemies, they are not always guaranteed drops. But if you do want to bolster your Rotten Arsenal, then you can also get the Spear and the Staff from them. Following on from there, for the Hammer Bros out there, we have the Rotten Battle Hammer. Again, looking incredibly cool. Basically the same sort of design as the Battle Hammer, only with deep red Scarlet Rot all over it. Again, this is one of those ones where you can put whatever Ash of War you want on it. This does come with Braggot's Raw, but you can customise it as you see fit. For this one, you want to go over to the Consecrated Snowfield, and you then want to go from this Site of Grace here. And we are simply going to be running forwards and basically going uh, through the snow. A little bit hard to see. But what you're effectively doing is making your way over to this location with all these tombs. And in the middle of that, there will be a gladiator wielding two of these weapons. So, quite simply, kill him and he will drop it. However, if axes are more your speed, you then have the Rotten Great Axe. So again, the Rotten version of the Great Axe. Surprise, surprise. Strength requirement of 30, dex requirement of 10 for this one. And again, the ability to put on a different Ash of War, but by default it comes with Endure. 
Similar principle to the last one, this time again you'll be going and killing one of the gladiators. This time you are going to go again to the consecrated snowfield, only this time you're going to be going up to Ordina, the liturgical town. And you then want to go to the uh, basically the cliff over on the left that you see me marking right now, or that general vicinity. Walk up there, you will then see another gladiator, kill him, and he will give you the axe. And it'll also give you his pants. And then for the very last one, we have the Rotten Staff, which is a colossal weapon. This is also a unique one because this is the weapon that you see the minor Erd Trees wielding. The unique skill on this one is Erd Tree Slam, where you jump high into the air and you crash down on the ground ahead. And the resulting pratfall sends golden shockwaves in all directions. This is the most powerful of ground slam skills. Basically, the golden teabag. If you want to get this one, you need to go again to Halleck Tree, but this time to the Prayer Room Site of Grace. And from there, you then simply need to run at the door, go and follow the route that I'm taking right now, which basically means running past the first enemies, dropping down onto this little sort of walkway, down to the roof, and you can then drop down onto the bridge beneath. And that, of course, is where the minor earth tree is. You'll need to defeat it, and they will then give you the staff. So there you have it. There's a little rundown on six, or technically speaking, eight if you include the honorable mentions, but six scarlet rock weapons you can get if you want to dabble in a different affinity. Let me know in the comments down below if you guys have got any of these, if you plan to use them. Again, if you have missed our recent uploads, be sure to check out this video and keep it locked on the channel for plenty more Elden Ring.